Here's a perfect example of the issue that I'm going to be addressing this piece of art where somebody has gone through the effort of drawing some glasses on me. Basically what they're showing is that PK has lost the block damage and there's an attack coming from Geomancer, can prop the passive and your team can die. Now there is a very easy way you can avoid this and that's what we're going to do in this video. I'll show you guys how to do just that. So let's get into it. What's up YouTube, it's Orth. Now I got a video for you guys going over the issues that people were mentioning that they are having in Iron Fortress. It's probably going to be the last video I make on this because once you build this team, there's not much more room for improvement. This team is consistently around about a minute, 30 seconds. You can go one minute, 20 seconds, or you can go two minutes. So I'm going to go over the team and what speeds you want to run to avoid the issue that I showed earlier. Now, I've been running this team for a very long time and this speed is working the best for me. Now, what I've done to avoid the issue is I made Geomancer faster than Roshgard. Now, what this does, is it places the burn on the boss before Roshgard takes a turn and before the boss gets a turn. So you get an extra tick of the reflect damage or the passive damage from Geomancer. And then I have the speeds on my team 238, 244 and 243. Now, these speeds can be anywhere above 220, but I wouldn't recommend going too far um, spaced out on the speeds. You want to keep the similar sort of speeds on all of the pain keepers. Let's try to keep staying within the range of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You don't really want a 10 speed gap in between your PKs in case one of your champions cuts in. In this case, it might be Geomancer because of the turn order. I'll give you guys a quick run and show you guys how it works. We're going to have Geomancer going first, as I explained. He's going to be landing the burns. And then what you'll see is Roshgard will land the block damage and then will be tuned from there on out. Now, the PKs, it's important that they all go in a row so they don't get cut out by anybody. And you'll see they'll do their A2s perfectly when they have block damage. The next turn, they are going to go without block damage, but no champion would actually do an attack. We have the two non attacks for the sorry, the three non attacks from PKs. We have the burn from Geomancer and then we have the block damage for two turns from Roshgard. So there is an absolute no chance there should be an attack coming out from your allies or from your team that will proc the boss's passive. Now, obviously, Roshgard goes last. So before the boss does his AoE, he'll always have block damage. So this is basically the perfect tune. In the video I made it recently, it seems to be that the speeds were slightly off and a lot of people were confused on what presets to run, how to make sure you get this speed tune and it never falls off. You have to make sure, A, you want Geomancer before Rush Guard because A, it's giving you the extra damage and B, what you'll see is that there is before Rush Guard takes a turn, Geomancer takes a turn. So this safeguards your speeds from Rush Guard, Rush Guard lapping your PKs because it gives an extra turn to all of the PKs before the rush guard goes. So it just makes it slightly more safer. Now, a minute, 20 seconds, is that's pretty, pretty fast. It's probably the fast, one of the faster runs you're gonna get. When I'm making YouTube videos, it seems to be the runs are faster than normal. I don't understand. I don't pre-record these runs. Um, they are generally just going off. Um, so I'll quickly show you guys again, what presets you need to run to make sure None of the speeds are, you know, messed about, messed about, or none of the abilities are ha having any issues, um, and none of the abilities are being cut in on. So the PK setup is quite simple. You want to do the priority on the A3 and then the A2. All three PKs are the same. Nothing needs to be messed around with. You don't need to open anything. You just do A3 into A2. All PKs must be booked, but Ascensions are not important. Ascension basically just means you'll heal AoE. Healing is not really relevant because you're running a block damage team. Um, if you're running a, a PK that is speed tuned for Bat Eater, again, try to keep all PKs within 10 speed of each other. Do not open them up too much. Um, and then make Geomancer faster than Rush Guard. So there is a tick in between the Rush Guards and the PKs. So there's no cutting in there. Geomancer, you want to turn off the A2 simply because A2 animation is longer than A1. So you just want to do the A you just want to do the AoE standing back from the boss. You don't want Geomancer the dwarf running up to the boss. Um, then these presets, as you can see, and Rush Guard, you basically just want to do zone of protection. Both of these abilities, they have a similar sort of animation. If you think one of the animations is faster than the other one, you can basically turn off sanction. Uh, you can't really turn off the A1. 
but you can do that as well if you want just turn off the a2 and just rely on the a1 um, but yeah those are the presets i'll quickly show you guys the masteries as well um, and then after the masteries i'll show you guys one more run just to make sure everybody's on uh, the right page geomancer this is my geomancer build the more refresh you get on him the better it is sometimes you can get a three percent so you know just working around that so some refreshes on geomancer you want his stats to be enough to land debuffs on the boss so with the accuracy you want around about 555 above 555 accuracy my geomancer seems to be slightly lower than what is required Although he does get the mastery um, of 20% from accuracy and then also 4% from this. So he gets another 24 accuracy. So he should be at 200 and sorry, 562. So his accuracy is completely fine. Um, but yeah, you can do the same sort of trick. You can go for accuracies on your Geomancer, get these two abilities. He always will do his burn if you turn off the A2 um, when there's no abilities on cooldown. So he'll always get the extra 20%. And then there's only one enemy, so you get four extra accuracy there too. So the accuracy is fine. You can play around with it. 530 accuracy, 535 accuracy is pretty tough. You're going 250 speed too. So if you guys are, you know, if you guys don't have the gear, so just focus on speed. Again, you can run Geomancers slower than Roshgar too. That works perfectly fine as well. You can actually make him slowest on the team. That way there would still be Rosh Guard in the Geomancer will still go in between the Rosh Guard and PKs. So you can actually do that too if you're struggling with stats. But I do recommend landing the burn before the boss does the first AoE. So you get a little bit of extra damage, which is always nice. Um, the two PKs I'll show you. Quickly, I want to just mention you don't really want to run any turn meter buff or turn meter boost masteries. Um, just in case things you know get out of hand in a long fight. Um, you could be okay, you can get away with it, but I wouldn't recommend them too much because PK has the term, term meter movement as well, so you kind of want to stay away from it as much as possible. These are the masteries I've taken. Um, you don't really need masteries on any champions. If you can get the stats without masteries, is good. And PK doesn't really benefit from this. If you have War Master on this PK because you're running it in, uh, in Clan Boss, as you can see, it will not affect your run because they always have block damage. So we'll have the second PK and then we have the third PK with no masteries. Remember, the only thing is important, they don't need to be 60 or anything, books. Make sure you are booking them. I've been, I've done it myself where I've done a takeover, tried building this team for somebody else and I just didn't book. And I was there just scratching my head thinking, why is this team not working? And they just weren't booked. And I was like... How can this happen? I built this team a million times and uh, I'm still forgetting books. But yeah, everybody needs to be booked. Roshgar needs to be obviously booked on his block damage ability so he gets the cooldowns um, so he can cycle around and land block damage on you as consistently as you need it to. Um, I'll quickly show you Roshgar gear to Speed is the only requirement, 251 speed. You don't really want to go too much high on speed neither. You don't want to go 260, 270. Again, that could mean that he would go ahead of the PKs and start lapping the PKs. So you don't want that either. Try to keep it under 250 speeds, uh, 255, sorry, under 255 for both Roshgar and Geomancer. Geomancer is faster than Roshgar is nice. And then PKs within 10 speed, above 220 speed is perfectly fine. You don't really need to worry about any other stat, just those and books. But yeah, that is the team. That is the perfect build. I'll roll you guys out with a last run just to make sure, you know, we're all on the same page and we get to see this team run. Um, if you guys are seeing the same issue where your PK is attacking or anybody on your team is attacking when there's no block damage up, make sure you guys are checking all three PKs are taking turns in a row. That's an easy giveaway. There's an easy tell to make sure all of your champions are doing the right abilities at the right time. You need to make sure all three PKs go in, the, in a row. That way, no champion will be doing an attack when there's no block damage. If one of the PK gets delayed, what happens is the decrease of the cooldown doesn't happen in time. Therefore, the ability is not available and the champion would end up doing an attack ability or a damage ability or ability at a wrong time where you don't have block damage. But if all the speed tune is perfect, no champion will do an attack when you don't have block damage. Making it a 100% run every single time. So it is completely 100% safe. You don't need to worry about anything and you can just farm, 
the Iron Fortress for the rest of your raid career and be absolutely fine. And focus on other content. You know, we have new Sand Devil, which is challenging if you don't have the right champions, or even if you have the right champions, the builds can be quite tricky. I will be making a lot more guides on my channel. I want to focus a little bit more on Arena. Um, I want to make a few guides, a few offense guides that I've been running at Plat Reset. I generally upload my uh, Plat pushes. They normally go up on Tuesday or I want them to be up on Tuesday. Even though Plat push is on Monday, I stream Plat push and then I could be busy for the rest of the day. So I'll try getting the Plat push videos out on Tuesday. And then I'll be making guides for all of the videos or I'll be making guides for all of the offenses and putting them up on YouTube for you guys to watch. So thanks so much for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.